Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm taking part in Roxy's weekly challenge. It's week number 42 and it's mini match notepads. So I have already had a bit of a play and a trial and made three already and we will make a fourth on camera. So it's like the old matchbook. Um, matches that you used to get except our version is of course uh, made from card or paper and it has little bits of um, pieces of paper to write on so you're making little notebooks and you can either tear the page out or write it use it for notes and um, these can be as standalone little notepads or they can be put in Happy Mail or they can be put in a pocket in your journal. Um, so I have made, uh, yeah, like I said, three. There's this paler coloured one um, and with little pieces of paper in this inside. And um, yeah, my mistake, I think, was using quite thick paper and backing it with quite thick book pages and it's made it quite thick. <laughs> thick is a popular word today. So, um, but yeah, they're still cute. They still work. It's still, um, yep. So, let's just put them aside for the moment. And so the paper I use, because I'm determined to use up all these old paper pads that I have. I've had this a long time. I think I got it in a shop called The Range here in Scotland. And it has some some nice papers. But maybe just a wee bit bright for me now. It was okay in my card making days and my scrapbooking days. But it, it is quite bright for, for just now. Anyway, I've chosen this for my next card. I'm going to have that as my cover. Um, and I have this piece of book page. And although this is double-sided and you wouldn't need to line the page, I thought it was still quite nice to have some, some book page on the inside. So I've got that and that. That is from that book of lettering and this is from the recipe book. So it's just a case of cutting it uh, to the size that you want. I've made all, all mine the same size and I made a template so that you could see but like I say it's any size at all as long as you just turn up the bottom um, and the, the this bit that you turn down is um, long enough just to tuck in leaving a little bit so that you can stitch the papers in the inside. So I'll just run through. It's, we stick these two pieces together but it's 21 centimetres long and then this piece is where my fold's going to be is 9.3 and I'm folding up 1.5 from the bottom and it's 8 centimetres across the way. But like I say, measurements don't really matter because you can make them any size that you want. But I just thought for the video that it might be an idea just to make them all the same size. So the first thing we're going to do with our main piece is put the inside book page on. So we just glue that together. So that should be exactly, exactly the size that I need. Yep. Just 
So, then we want to fold at that one and a half. So we want to fold it there and we want to fold it there. Now, because I've used something quite thick, I had been using my scoreboard for that because that's quite a quite a thick thing. So I have my board here. This board is new to me. Um, I haven't quite figured out <laughs> the way that it works and I just for the moment mark my page and then just choose a, a line to score because I don't have and it's all quite newfangled and then this one is here so I'm not really using any of the measurements or anything I'm just using the, the notches the pencil notches that I've made on them um, <laughs> on my uh, my card so we should have just oh and I don't know why there's a little bit overlap in there but we'll just take that off so you're just going down to just before the fold there and then that just comes up so that that's just enough to hold that in place but let's just take that off or maybe we'll just leave it just now because we might put a wee bit washy over it or something eh? right so that's your cover made yep that's the cover so for the pages again I made a little page template because what you want is your pages to butt right into that fold and then just be a smidgen left all the way around with maybe a little bit more at the top than the sides just so that your page fits right in because when you come to either sew or staple or somehow attach this bit to catch the papers on the inside you want that to be right butted down to the bottom so i have already torn a selection of papers so the page template, just let me tell you, the page template for the sake of completeness is 7 centimetres by 9.2. But like I say, size doesn't matter. It's as long as it fits in that centre piece. And I've used a selection. I have a piece of old graph paper, a piece of the Amazon packaging, some lined writing paper, and some more lined writing paper. So I have a little selection of papers and I'll just mix them up a bit. Put that there, that there and that there. And that's going to be my little notepad. Make sure they're all tight at the bottom. And then I just want to line up that brown paper a little bit. And then it goes in there and that's how it will work. So I have sewn, stitched to catch my papers. Um, Rachel used brass, but I found the car the paper I have used is too thick for little brads they wouldn't go through and it wasn't holding and um, the first time I ran it through the sewing machine I was too near the edge and I didn't catch the papers so I had to do a second row on that one and then uh, learning by my mistake I managed to catch the papers on the other two so I'm just going to take this off to my sewing machine and put a little stitch along the bottom. Okay, I did a stitch. I hope there's not too much shadow. I'm just looking at the, the camera here. It's really quite dull um, here now at this time of day when I have to make my videos and um, there's not really a lot I can do about it. I've got my main light on and I've got my daylight 
bulb light shining on the desk and um, I'm hoping that the shadows don't um, annoy too much <laughs> but um, anyway I'm going to just take this edge off it's definitely just annoying me I must have just made that too long didn't do a good job of that it's in an awkward spot there we are that's better so that's them stitched in and I've got a nice little selection of a notepad and I'm going to decorate the cover. I wish I hadn't picked such thick paper. But anyway, lesson learned. Next time I make it, use thin paper. <laughs> so I have a sticker and a ticket on each one. So I have my sticker and ticket here and that's what I'm going to do. Let's just close these up. In fact, the more I do that, the bendier and the softer the, the paper is becoming, so that's good. Right, let's get sticky with the ticket. I think our clocks get moved in a couple of weeks and that might, now let me think, does that make it lighter for a little bit longer in the day? The clocks go back. So let me think. It's four o'clock in the afternoon just now. So in a couple of weeks when the clocks go back, it will be three o'clock and it will be a bit lighter. But that won't last for long. It'll be lighter for a while. And then it'll start to get dark again. Right, and I've got this um, little word pad, which is Chit Chat, Tim Holtz. And I have the word notes here. which I, I will choose a place here, I think. There we are. So, nice and quick and easy. And I'm going to find a spot in my journal. I have the blue journal here and I think I might put this flowery one because this flowers these flowers here I thought matched the flower on this side pocket and I thought that was just so cute in there and the blue just matches that blue there the kind of turquoisey tealy pale tealy colour in the blue is just perfect and I thought that was just nice in there so that's something else added to the to the journal wonder if I should put another one somewhere put one in there I wonder if this one would be nice in there. That is quite nice in there. Right, I'm going to add two. Be extravagant. There we are. That keeps these me too for another day. So, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> okay, that's me done. Thanks for joining me today and um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.